Okay, so there seems to be a misconception that I hate on modern Spongebob because I want it to be bad, or because I don't support the show. I mean, I watch every episode of the show, I buy merchandise from the show, and I make content on the show. Granted, not always in a positive light. But yeah, I don't like the state that the show is in right now. But I really want to like modern Spongebob, and I heard a lot of good things about the latest episode. There will be Grease. So, let's check it out. Hey! First of all, this title card is kinda weird. It doesn't look like a Spongebob title card, but at least the classic title card music is here. And wow, this is a good character model for Spongebob. He looks great. But, to whoever said they, like, didn't have any of the crazy faces in this episode, I want what you are smoking, cause Spongebob transforms within seconds. So Spongebob notices this grease, and the grease thankfully doesn't look disgusting like it did in that other grease-centered episode. When he tries to clean it up, he turns Plankton into a tree. Also, this table has never been here. Plankton thinks the grease is oil, and crabs want in on the potential moolah. And we get it confirmed that both these restaurants are disgusting, and violates multiple health codes, which is pretty on brand for the show. So, the two restaurant owners have to become business partners, which is a great plot idea. Just gonna come out and say it. While the animation still is very bouncy, in this episode it is a lot more toned down than the rest of season 13. And the art style looks very good in this episode. Plankton imagines what he can do with the grease, and can anyone tell me where this robot is from? Because I recognize it. I think it might be from some Spongebob game, but I'm not sure. Spongebob comes back and tells them how he now uses the grease for everything, and we see Spongebob's armpit... I don't know, man. And look at this, Spongebob is talking calm and slowly. Well, what I mean is, if you can use it for anything, why not sell it for everything? That is absolutely crazy. If the characters aren't screaming words at a lightning speed, how will kids like the show? No, but seriously, this is great. This episode has fantastic pacing so far. The plot feels simple in a good way, but if there's anything that's negative here, it is that mobile phones should not be a thing in Bikini Bottom. I just know we are getting a TikTok episode soon. I appreciate how crabs and plankton are actually using the grease to help people, even if it is after causing a giant car crash. Also, is this a new character model with the green fish? I haven't seen him before. After selling a lot of grease, they decide to take the business on the road, and shout out to the writers for not forgetting that Puff and Krabs are dating. Also, this gross-up close-up actually got me laughing. I think this is one of the best uses of close-ups in modern Spongebob. And then the next phase is there as well. No comment on that. They go to Sandy next, and I don't know about the use of like real life objects in the nut here. Uh, also, if there's something else I could nitpick, this bottle looks so boring. I don't know why they couldn't have made like the label a lot more fun. Also, Sandy apparently has an oxygen machine in her dome, which is interesting. Now we get a singing number, and it's okay. I don't think the show has made a good musical number in a very long time, although the ending to Goofy Scoopers was cool. Also, this creepy guy is back, and nah, this is gross. No, sir, shouldn't be animated. The animation here is good otherwise, though. Now the two of them are filthy rich, and they own a skyscraper, and of course people want their money back because of course the grease had side effects. This is probably my biggest problem with the episode, because this is exactly what happened in Paddy Hype and like 10 other episodes. This solution was very lazy and just a way for the status quo to be reset, which isn't even necessary really. We already know that these two wouldn't be successful business partners by the next episode, there's no point in resetting the story. Honestly, I was in on this episode's side for most of it. Yes, the episode wasn't really funny at all, and yes, the ending is bad, but the animation was pretty great. It was toned down, and the art style and character models were on point the whole episode. Also, while there were still unnecessary sound effects, this episode had way less of those than I expected from a season 13 episode. 
it kind of says a lot though that what I didn't like about the episode was the stuff that had to do with this individual episode. There Will Be Grease wasn't a good episode writing wise, but what I appreciated about it was the direction it took for the show as a whole. But yeah, the, the show needs better jokes and better plots, because what I liked about this episode was mostly just how it looked. The next episode premieres in a couple of days after recording this, and if they come back with the same direction and a better script, I would say the show is on its way to redeeming itself. Now, of course, if the next episode has bad writing and annoying overexpressive animation, with lots of unnecessary sound effects, I will probably go back to saying that modern Spongebob is garbage. But as it is right now, the latest Spongebob episode isn't garbage at all, and is a step in the right direction for the show, and has actually given me some hope that the show can redeem itself. But it needs a better episode than this for that.